It's another day of their journey. These four pilgrims have crawled thousands of miles on their hands and knees from their hometown in Gansu. So far, they've been journeying like this for two months and five days. Most of them are over 60 years old. Before Gesang Joma set off, her elderly parents tried to change her mind, but she was always confident in her mission. We encourage each other when we're extremely tired. I pray for my old parents, and I myself have no fear of death, because the Buddha will bless me and protect me in my next life. It's a spirit summoned by the Tibetan Buddhism. For centuries, the epic pilgrimage is a mission that defines their very existence. Their destination, the heart of old Lhasa, the Joka Monastery. But how do they survive when conditions get harsh? The answer is simple. One temporary tent provides warmth and shelter for all four, and for substance, a simple barley-based food called tampa. Our relatives give us better food and tents when they sow us off, but we didn't bring them because experiencing harsh conditions is a way to show our humility in front of the Buddha. Before they sleep, a final show of piety to the Buddha, in gratitude for keeping them safe on another day of their journey. Every year, tens of thousands of pilgrims like them leave their home for Lhasa. While some eventually made it, some failed, and some even died on the road. But it's the same story about faith being played out all over this Tibetan plateau, along this sky road to their holy land.